Hello and welcome to our webinar, ABB Silo and Smart Building Solutions. Yeah, my name is Thorsten Reibel from the ABB Competence Center uh, Euro Smart Buildings. And yeah, I will present today this webinar. And yeah, as always, it, it will take around one hour. So topic ABB Cylon Smart Building Solutions. Um, my idea today is to tell the story a bit from, from my point of view, coming more from the lower level of building automation from the KNX side. And I think many of you are also uh, yeah, on this level, have some experiences and are not pretty sure what's behind ABB Cylon, what are the, yeah, the options here, what can we do there. And I try to yeah, explain this a bit in the next hour. And if we have a look to the agenda, so first of all, a small introduction into ABB Cylon, and then we come to the solution itself, which of course consists of products. Um, so I have to go a bit into the products as less as necessary, but a bit needed to understand the solution. And there are also software solutions behind, uh, a programming tool, CX Pro, and also building management software, visualization um, aspect. Also here, some ideas. Yeah, the big topic is the integration, of course. So we would like to integrate all our building automation related solutions, um, which is, for example, meters, metering, also topic we were handling a lot already in our webinars, drives, yeah, frequency converters, um, and of course, ABB Ibis KNX. Yeah, that's a big topic. And also I will show you here how it looks like. And at the end, we come to a let me say the highest level of, of integration Integra building control. Also here a short yeah, approach uh, what is behind. Yeah, and finally uh, a summary and a conclusion. Okay, so let's start. ABB Cylon at a glance. Um, what is behind ABB Cylon or Cylon first of all? Very simple, we acquired, ABB acquired last year, and it's, it's uh, almost one year ago, the company Cylon Controls, and we added uh, this company and all the products and solutions they have to our smart buildings portfolio. So now the pro uh, process of integration started, of course, and what can ABB Cylon offer? Um, they're able to deliver a holistic smart building, uh, including energy management, heating, ventilation, air conditioning. So a big part of the solutions is everything around HVAC. Um, yeah, based on Bugnet. So one big topic is that uh, the communication is running not only, but mainly on Bugnet. We come to this a bit later. And of, of course, our idea is to combine it in as many projects as possible with ABB IBAS KNX, where we are very strong originally here in ABB. So HVAC is a topic uh, to have a complete solution. Yeah? This is our, our topic for most of the applications in buildings. Then of course these typical keywords are behind reducing of energy costs, monitoring, um, 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 yeah, increased safety in the building, central supervision with visualization softwares, future oriented investment of course, um, everything, can be every, everything can be controlled from everywhere and of course also increased comfort. So a holistic commercial building solution, that's our topic here. Yeah, some facts and figures. Um, so integration of different um, applications, as already mentioned, energy man management is also the topic, metering, HVAC I mentioned already. Yeah, any lighting, shading solutions can come from KNX, for example. So everything around this. So it's, it's mainly HVAC control coming from Cylon, not only, also energy management, metering. Yeah, it consists of hard and software, inclusive, including a visualization. And as already mentioned, it's based on Bugnet, standard protocol, but also on Modbus. So these two protocols in two levels, Bugnet IP and uh, Bugnet, let me say, twisted pair, and the same for Modbus, this is or are the key, let me say, um, protocols used um, for Cylon, for ABB Cylon. Yeah, of course, um, there's a lot of solutions behind and also support from our side. Um, Cylon is active or was active already in many key markets all over the world. So it's not a new company already existing some decades, uh, have a lot of experiences and they work closely or we work closely together with partners and system integrators. 
it's high level technology of course you have to be trained um, you have to commit to work with such a technology and um, so there is a real partnership and and yeah uh, corporations with system integrators behind yeah originally the company is coming from Ireland and there are still uh, the headquarters in Dublin So, where are we active with AB Cylon? So, um, as mentioned in the key markets all over the world, which is mainly America, there we are very strong with our solutions. Um, of course, Middle East region is a big market, Europe, of course, and also uh, in Asia, um, a lot of activities. So, these are the key markets, but of course, thanks to our worldwide presence of ABB, um, our intention is to increase, um, um, yeah, um, the countries where we can be active. So this will be, of course, a development in the next time, together with you, together with um, all the ABB locations all over the world. Um, yeah, here is a screenshot uh, of the homepage. So Cylon.com, the first um, yeah, view to the homepage. I'll come to this a bit later as well. And if you look to the homepage here, to the screenshot you see, all the products around building automation are here um, shown. So not only the original Cylon products, but also the, all the other directly related solutions like ABB IBAS KNX, like the meters, ABB Echomatic metering is <laughs> a big topic we already handled, handled in the past a lot. Emergency lighting can be integrated as well. Yeah. Also topics um, which is also a bit new for me, flow measurement. Also something we need in, in HVAC solutions, measuring the amount of, of liquids, of gas, of steam, for example. Uh, ABB has uh, also a lot of components to measure and to be integrated in our complete building automation solution. So I come later a bit more to this homepage. So there are a lot of information and um, more or less everything is transferred also to ABB brand and ABB style right now. Still a process behind, but we did already hear a lot. Yeah, um, to position uh, our solution with ABB Cylon a bit, I have here um, yeah, a simplified building automation pyramid, and you might remember this from any, any other presentations um, in principle. The basis are the field, or is a field level, it's a field components. Um, like any sensors, like any operating elements, like any local actuators, typical strengths of ABB IBAS KNX. Yeah? So the field level, where we need a lot of components. Then we have the automation level, um, with some more intelligence behind, like automation functions, logic functions, time functions, any controller can be there behind. <clears throat> and then on top, the highest level in the building pyramid, building automation pyramid, uh, the management level is a management level with, yeah, for example, visualization, any energy management solutions, remote access, interfacing, um, cloud connection, any data logger. Um, so these are typical parts of uh, building automation. And you see here KNX mainly in the field, but also touching, of course, the automation level, um, but also a bit uh, yeah, management level, typically we did it with the application controller in our Climate Echo HVAC range, but not really. And Cylon, ABB Cylon, is very strong here in the management level, has of course also solutions and products here in the automation level, also down to the field level. But there are less components than in KNX, for example. So in total, we are, have a complete, let me say, covering of this building pyramid. And you see it here visually how we can cooperate together, we work together, plus all the further components just mentioned um, we can integrate here. So completion of our total solution, that's what we would like to have. Yeah, if you go to the home page, of course, you will find also some, some projects already put into practice, um, mainly, of course, commercial projects. We talk typically of about um, yeah, commercial projects, any kind of, like, like office buildings, like any plans, um, whatever. So you see here some examples um, from mainly Europe. Okay, here's also from Saudi Arabia. If you click here later on one of these icons, you get some more information. 
so a lot of projects of course already um, realized and here two examples of German projects um, with some more information. This is a company producing any pharmacy, pharmaceutical products um, where you have offices of course, production and logistic and the applications, typical applications with Cylon for heating, cooling, so room climate control but also metering. Then there is a visualization behind for any alarms, his storage of historical data, of course also for operations of any function and um, you see here the number of data points 5600. Yeah, another project here in Germany, uh, do it yourself, the store where we have a lot here in Germany, um, applications here, heating ventilation, uh, it's in Germany mainly heating necessary, lighting control, so also a topic covered originally um, by Cylon, metering, monitoring and they integrated here DALI, lighting control, we have typically together with Kalix in ABB in the past, connected via Bucknet IP DALI gateway. So I think in such a building you do not have so many local operating elements, not necessary, everything is automized but also central touch panels are existing for operation. <coughs> So also metering is here behind and in total 700 data points. So typical projects. Yeah, let's come now to yeah, the smart building solution, some more details. <clears throat> As mentioned, there are some products behind. It's a comprehensive range of components. And first of all, let's have a look to the system architecture of a typical Cylon solution. Yeah, it's a bit maybe hard to see here all details, it's not the topic to go on all the details. Let me show or explain the principle here of the system architecture. So what you see here, the grey components with the red line, red line uh, shows Dean Rail components, ABB Dean Rail components and you see here a lot of components typically also installed in the distribution board, practically a lot of analog and digital IOs, in and outputs. Programmable ones, of course, we need to connect any components, to measure anything, to operate anything, to operate a valve, to operate a fan, a pump, whatever. And these, of course, also components we have here in such a solution. But we come to some more details. Not only DNA components, sometimes also um, yeah, wall-mounted components, um, as we have it also in KNX. You can connect also operating elements, you see it here a bit. Yeah. So and all these components with all the functions behind are connected via communication lines and you see here maybe Modbus, Bugnet, Bugnet uh, MSTP, um, Modbus RTU and on top here is the IP network, the technical IP network where we, are, where we run different protocols, for example Bugnet IP. Yeah, but also Modbus TCP, so also IP-based Modbus communication, maybe also KNX Net IP, and also a further protocol you can run here. So this is all coming here together, but all the other communications are based typically on Modbus and Bugnet um, serial communication, so more or less twisted pair. Yeah, and on top you see some, some PCs, let's say, one is for programming, of course, we have to commission also the components. CX Pro is the software. We can have any touch panels for operation, but we can have also building management solutions or visualizations. Aspect is the name here. Remote assess, of course, all these things are possible. Yeah. So that's the typical situation. How many components you have? Um, in details, I come to some more information right now. Um, here you see also components, um, not Dean Rail components, but also for, for visualization of building management connection to the PC necessary. So, yeah, I mentioned already these protocols, Modbus and Bugnet, here a short summary again, um, based on, on serial communication for Modbus or on IP communication, the same for Bugnet. I think for many not new, remember our meters also working with Modbus. Um, I come to this also a bit later, so neither completely new for us. And Bugnet, big topic, at the moment we touch this only in, in KNX with our gateway to Bugnet IP. Um, also here, some more information later, but 
very important protocols in building automation. And we have it now in our complete range on all levels, let's say. Yeah, um, Cylon, original products were looking a bit different. And you see it here on the left. So with a green line, so of course we transfer, our tran yeah, transfer this all to ABB brand, ABB brand right now. Uh, I think most of the components are ready is ABB, red line here. Products, of course, are the same, but it's 100% ABB, and of course, we integrate this completely yeah, um, into our ABB brand. This will be valid um, from all products very soon. Most of the products are already transferred. Yeah, first overview of the products and solutions, or yeah, not solutions, but the, the software as well behind. Um, there's a big collection of components. And I try to do it as short as possible, but um, here, first of all, uh, a summary of all the components. We have so-called main plan controller and principal digital and analog IOs in and outputs, the CBX line and different versions. Then we have CBV. You see here variable air volume is a topic here. And this is a big topic in, in HVAC solutions which we could not cover really with KNX in the past. So many people were asking for any um, air handling unit control and, and variable air volume control with KNX. And we always said, mm, well, not a direct KNX device available. Take our building automation controller, PLC in principle, but it's not a dedicated uh, KNX solution behind. This will be really covered here with our Cylon products. Yeah, CBT, terminal controller for TRIA control, I will explain later. Then we have a new range of also digital analog I.O. components, so-called the Flexion range, also with the version for variable air volume. So panels, displays, as mentioned, we have also this a bit here, so a touch panel is existing and also local operating elements, but it's only for, for room climate control. So not like KNX for any other functions like shading or lighting control. Um, CX Pro, the engineering, the programming software, a bit like ETS, let's say, yeah, uh, compared with KNX. Then, yeah, building management solution for visualization, different levels here available, also an app, but it's specialized uh, in, in yeah, configuring and operating variable air volume to test uh, here something. It's only a small app. And this high-level integration, Integra, I will explain a bit later. We have also yeah, uh, a range of wired and wireless sensors, additionally. Um, I will not go any details today. So these are additional products. Um, so any, any, let me say, duct temperature sensors, for example, outdoor sensors for temperature measurement, humidity sensors, and so on. So this is in principle a small overview of all the products. Um, I will come now to some more details. So the CB series, um, yeah, you see here on the right already some components. Um, you see a lot of connection terminals here. So in principle, yeah, freely programmable controllers for various applications. There's a lot of in and outputs, both digital and analog. Um, and this is really different from KNX. KNX, we know dedicated KNX devices for dedicated applications. So we, if we need a fan coil controller or a fan coil actuator, we have to buy the right component and we have to choose which kind of valves or fan uh, control is behind to select the right hardware. And then we parameterize only. Here, we are totally flexible. We have only I.O. devices and we decide later in the software which kind of function application is behind. So much more flexibility. Um, so it's real programming, not only parameterization. Yeah, so four protocols, SPACnet, IP and MSTP and Modbus, TCP and RTU is supported depending on the product a bit. And very important and very nice, I will explain this a bit, are these so-called uniputs, universal in and outputs. You can translate this, digital analog, where we are very flexible to choose a channel for an in and output we need. So it's a patent behind, it's really unique, and it's a big advantage. Also here, I will explain a bit later. Um, we have a basic device, and we can extend everything with additional 
we call it FLX modules, flexible modules with in and outputs. So let's say stupid in and outputs connected to the to the main component to extend the number of in and outputs to a huge number of channels if needed. And components available with or without manual operation. It's like in KNX, we know this as well. So and then we have two sub-series here, CBX and CBXI. Um, you see here the typical applications for CBX and CBXI series. So uh, all kind of HVAC equipment, boilers, chillers, and pumps can be controlled, frequency converters, uh, air handling units uh, already mentioned, metering. Uh, we have also impulse inputs to count uh, signals, for example. Of course, it's also possible to control with an output any lighting systems, though this is not the main application. Um, for the silent components. So it's typically HVAC, of course. On the CBX series, you see it here, one without manual operation, and here you can open this, this cover here, and behind you find, um, for all the output uh, here, some, some manual operations. So it's manual mode, it's off, or it's automatic mode, depending on the, on the signal, the telegram, um, or communication telegram. So the main component has eight uniputs. These are these universal in and outputs with relays and um, only inputs, universal inputs. And you can extend up to 64 with these extension modules. Yeah, communication, RS485, Buckness MSTP, and Modbus RTU possible here. So that's a solution here. And here the version with yeah, manual operations. So eight inputs and eight universal in and outputs. That's the number of channels. A typical product. Yeah. So, and let's explain a bit about this Uniput solution because really it's a patent behind and it's a unique ABB solution now. Um, it has a lot of advantages. You have a lot of flexibility. You count only the number of, of channels or data points you need and later you decide what function is behind such a Uniput. So, and to show what is possible, a Uniput can be programmed as analog input, voltage, current, resistance, temperature, analog output, 0 to 10 volt, digital input, potential free or 24 volt potential, and digital outputs um, for up to 10 volt or DC or 24 volt AC signals. Yeah, so, and you program via later the software what is behind. Yeah, and then we have here also Uniput, Uniput plus relay. What does it mean? A real relay behind for operating higher loads up to two ampere as possible. So this allows us to be very flexible, our customers, and uh, we need less reserve IOs. And um, yeah, I think it's a really uh, yeah, unique solution we can offer here. So this you should keep in mind today, <laughs> Uniput technology from ABB, universal in output, unique solution and has a lot of advantages. Yeah, um, you can connect also this room operating element uh, to these uh, components. You see it here with an RS-485 bus, a typical room climate control components where you change set point or um, the fan speed and you have a display as well. So it's a simple cost efficient uh, room solution. Yeah, also with integrated humidity sensor available. Um, we know this also a bit from our KNX range, uh, but of course in KNX we have more options to operate further functions. That's not possible here. Yeah, these extension modules, um, you can get different extension modules with um, a certain number of in and outputs. You see it here, inputs and these uniputs, um, also with hand mode, and also only digital inputs are available, 16-fold. Um, also to count pulses if needed. Yeah. So that's possible and you see here, yeah, a possible solution, the basic device, CBX 8R8 and extension modules. This further eight inputs uh, and eight uniputs, uh, four uniputs and four inputs and here um, 16 digital inputs. This could be a solution. And connection between these devices is not really visible here. Um, 
on the right side of the main device is a cover you can open the same on the left and then you have a bridge to connect this electrically so all components um, yeah, um, mounted on the dune rail will be then a complete smooth uh, component uh, so no no wired visible here only a direct connection via these bridges between these dune rail components So CBX series very fast. It's not really different. We can connect up to 69, uh, 96 points here with extension modules. Uh, we need an additional power supply. Communication is here not only on Modbus TCP and Modbus, uh, sorry, um, Bugnet MSTP, but also on Bugnet IP and Modbus TCP. So the IP level communication is also existing here. It can route between all these protocols. So it's also a router. Um, so this gives you more options to connect or to communicate with other components. But the principle is here the same, like the CBX series. Um, also hand um, also a menu operation is possible and other device. And um, you use as well these uh, extension modules. So that's not really different. So IP communication additionally and more IOs are possible here for one main component, but um, the rest is in principle the same. So then we have the CBT series, um, yeah, again for applications in, in HVAC. Um, what stands T for? You see here FENCO units with electronic commutating motor, ECM. So where we need um, yeah, another output, in triac output, to control AC voltage. This is possible. You so we have so-called uniputs with triac behind. So also universal in and outputs, but with triac outputs. Um, so triac functionality that can switch 24 volt AC loads. So you can control the voltage level here. This is electronic outputs, let's say. Yeah. Then we have an additional main relay with high inrush current up to 8 ampere to, to turn off such a motor, to, to energize such a motor. And also here, these room uh, components, room HVAC components can be connected as well. So here we need a bit different hardware with TRIAC to control other components in HVAC. And it's communicating on Bucknet MSTP. So similar device, uh, another number of in and outputs. You see here also in and in uh, Uniputs is TRIAC, uh, but we have here, um, yeah, more outputs to or outputs to switch also 230, 240 volt AC. Um, so it's another, let me say, um, yeah, uh, constellation regarding in and outputs and more powerful outputs here also available. So sometimes we have to distinguish also in hardware a bit. Uh, we know from KNX in principle, but not that much like in KNX. So we are much more flexible with our standard I/O components. You see here uh, the universal input six can be configured as pulse counting digital input. You can count also pulses from any other meters, for example. This is also here possible. Also communicating on Bugnet MSTP. Yeah, then the CBV series. V stands for variable air volume control. Also here we need a bit different uh, hardware to do this. So variable air volume, big topic. We could not really cover up to now with KNX, but now much better or really possible. And um, also here, again, this collection of in and outputs you know already, but what is really different, we have here an airflow sensor integrated. We need for, we need for variable air volume. And you get a component with integrated Bilimo actuator, Bilimo company in Switzerland, um, yeah, offering a lot of hardware uh, in HVAC and one typical component you need in air handling or VAV solutions, controlling, positioning the ventilation flap to get more or less air into the room. And there you need a motor to open and close or to position this ventilation flap. And this is available here. This is component directly connected. You see it here. And in the middle, these uh, orange circle shows um, the, uh, the gap to 
to connect directly the shaft of the ventilation flap, which open and close, um, yeah, or uh, reduce or increase the number of or the, the amount of air coming into the room. So directly mountable, and of course it's not a Deanrail device because we connect it or mount it directly on the ventilation tube uh, where you have also this ventilation flap. So you get it directly with integrated Belima actuator, which is state-of-the-art technology, um, but also you can have it independent of this to connect an external actuator if it's already existing there. So of course here also we need real different hardware. So and then a uh, relatively new range, Flexion, F-L-X-E-O-N, stands for against similar components. Um, uh, solutions we already discussed in HVAC, so boiler chillers, all these in and outputs you need, also air handling units of course, variable air vol volume, all these things can be uh, controlled here. And what is different compa uh, compared with the CB or CBX series, um, again we have a DNRA component, um, programmable similar to the other components, but it's communicating on all levels together, like the CBXI series. And it has no in and outputs directly integrated, it's the main component. So we need this extension module, the same we had already before, to create our complete solution. Up to 256 data points with many more of these field level extension modules can be created. So um, one main component for more IOs finally. Also these room uh, operating elements can be connected. So it's uh, the next level here of these main I.O. devices and um, also here we have dedicated components for variable air volume, V uh, is in uh, the type description, here's the abbreviation and also here again this number of I.O.s is TRIAX to control 24 volt AC and also here you see directly integrated Belima actuator, a bit better integrated as I can see here, so uh, really uh, in the complete hardware integrated and to have the same solution just mentioned. So, yeah, so these are the main components, I.O. components, so a big collection of components, um, very flexible, um, but covering everything with a very low number of components compared with KNX at least. Yeah, displays only a short view, I don't go into details today, so any touch displays for local visualization of course also existing. Um, we come to the topic visualization right now um, very soon, but um, yeah, just for your first information, also this is available. Yeah, let's coming now to the programming. Um, so yeah, we need a tool here as well, so we program every component, um, uh, the communication between the components, um, there are some things to do, so it's a it's bit more than the ETS where we parameterize more or less only, um, connect uh, the IOs only, also necessary here, but let's have a first look to this. So um, again our system architecture with all our components distributed uh, over the, 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 the site, over the installation and we need the PC. We have to have this CX Pro software and then we configure everything, we program everything and program everything via IP directly to the components. So also components will be programmed like in KNX, it's not really different, uh, but of course the software is different here. So it's a software suite for yeah, um, programming all the components already mentioned. We design everything, we engineer, we program, we configure, we test everything, um, we download everything. Um, that's the target here. Um, yeah, it has a lot of functions, so we configure. We have also macros behind, so for complete functions, um, we don't have to create everything by our own again. So it's a kind of logic, of course, behind. We take macros. I would say it's a bit like like the ETS application of a product, yeah. Um, but we are limited limited then to a product only in KNX. If we can assign this to, um, yeah, to yeah the whole solution I have to the different components to create my total solution. 
I have a lot of experience, of course, with the ETS, the KNX software. I have yeah, also first approach to, to PLC programming thanks to our building automation controller. This is industrial PLC programming in principle. And I programmed already the first things here in the CX Pro. And I can say it's more, of course, than the ETS. The ETS is parameterization. But it's not that complicated and comprehensive and, and uh, exhausting, let's say, like PLC programming. Yeah, it's, it's much easier, much better, but really powerful. So it's very user-friendly. Not so many functions, but a lot of, yeah, finally, um, yeah, solutions behind. And yeah, some more features here. Yeah, bugnet properties can be adjusted. We talk about bugnet integration, as you know. Um, you commission all the products. You can monitor everything, like you know it from from also from from PLCs or from our logic controllers. So offline, online um, simulation is possible, and um, we can integrate all our Modbus devices as well. Yeah, what do you need? A PC, Windows PC. Windows 10 Professional 64-bit, and then you can start the software and program everything. Yeah, a short view to yeah, <laughs> the software itself, a screenshot here. Um, of course, it's a Windows software. We find here our menu, our quick assess uh, buttons. Um, here on the left, the site list, so all, all my pages, my functions, my elements, uh, my solutions I create here. Of course, this is in the middle, the main part. It's a bit like, like function block diagram programming, so graphical program, programming where you place IOs, where you place the elements, uh, any, any logic, whatever you want. You connect everything, all these things are possible. Help text, of course, exists. Um, then we have here the properties of our modules. So if you have any element here, we can parameterize this as well. We have uh, a library available with a lot of existing functions as mentioned. So you don't have to invent the wheel again <laughs> with all the functions uh, you need. And uh, you take out of the library something here. Um, we talk also about bugnet IP components. So the bugnet properties can be adjusted here, like the ID, like the name um, of the bugnet data point and so on. And on your maybe huge page, you have here some help to navigate. So I would like to go to this element. You see it's green marked here. This is this element here at the moment. So I did already the first programming with this very few components only. And after the first, let me say, initial learning, I, I could do already something. So it's, it's, it's of course something you have to learn and um, we have to work with. But thanks to the graphical programming, it's, it's pretty good in my opinion. Though I did not uh, experience everything, of course, up to now, but I will continue here and check how it works. Yeah, some main facts and, 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 and yeah, facts here about this software. So graphical programming, as already mentioned. Um, so you connect everything, function block diagram programming. Um, you can navigate uh, on this page easily. I've shown already help texts are available. Um, can jump to any element directly. Um, if I have programmed something later, very important to export this to aspect to our superior visualization, visualization or management system. And um, so also here, of course, are yeah, options to export this available easily. As mentioned, we can monitor all our functions uh, directly. Um, so also we can record data logs. Uh, data logging is possible to, to check functions over a longer time, for example. Yeah? If you change anything in your PID controller, what does it mean for, for um, the control behavior of your solution? Um, very important if you have a graphical programming environment to work, I call it marker. So uh, not everything can be directly connected with each other. Sometimes you have to set a marker, which then anywhere else on another page um, and connect to another element. Yeah, in our logic controller, it was called marker, your connectors. And as mentioned, simulation um, offline uh, is possible. So any strategy, any logic you have created can be tested then. This is also state of the art.
So macros existing already mentioned, Modbus connectivity, um, yeah, to all the Modcast components we have, I come to this very soon. Talk, we talk about metering, uh, we talk about frequency converter, yeah, all these things. It's also integrated as well as the BACnet properties also mentioned already. So because Modbus and BACnet is an essential part of the solution, so it has to be fully integrated also in the software for programming. Good, yeah, let's come then to the aspect, building control slash visualization part in our portfolio. Um, very important as well for a complete, powerful building management solution, building automation solution. And, and up to now in our KNX world, we were mainly working with third party companies, but now it's a real uh, ABP part uh, in our portfolio. And what is behind aspect? First of all, we have different solutions to, yeah, to create such a solution uh, in terms of hardware depends on the number of data points you have to 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 connect to, to this aspect visualization or building management system so matrix is for up to 2500 data points um, up to 10000 you take this nexus and since for real big projects up to 100000 data points we have a yeah complete software solution based on a pc only and then you take the aspect, aspect enterprise. Yeah. So, and yeah, let's have some, yeah, some screenshots of our functions. Um, I don't want to go in details today in such a solution. Um, to be honest, I did not check the software by my own up to now, um, but I think the first impression here is quite good to see, yeah, typical solutions here in, in real projects. So of course you have user-defined graphics available, standardized menus. Um, you can use it also in mobile devices if needed later as a client. This is also possible. Um, you can visualize everything here, layout in a 3D, let me say, view, um, looking in each room with actual values and operating everything, of course, going to different floors. I think this you know from, from many other visualization state-of-the-art solutions. But we can also, of course, show more technical images. Um, in this example, a view into a fan coil unit um, with, with a heat exchanger, heating, cooling, valve, fan speed control. Uh, filter status can be shown here, supply, temperature, and so on. Everything can be visualized. As well as complete processes can be visualized, where you have also um, the generation part, like chillers, and, and all the values behind as well. Pumps will be shown here and, and flow and return flow, temperatures and so on. So it's a real, let me say, yeah, um, building management solution with also technical views if needed. Scheduling time function, very important of course as well. So also here, very powerful. This is very often uh, used in, in building automation solutions of course. And um, as well as any yeah, HTML, let me say, uh, HTML5 um, interface existing to, to integrate any um, yeah, um, third-party software solution dealing with, with, with scheduling. Yeah? iCal, for example, can be integrated as well. Um, so this is also possible. And already here, a first <laughs> view into integration with a KNX solution, maybe remember our application controller can um, work as a BATnet scheduler, means um, the, the time functions are running on the application controller on KNX, but can be edited only on the, on the BATnet side, uh, in this case here in the aspect software. So BATnet scheduler modification, um, but working on a lower level device like the application controller on KNX. So this is already here. Uh, mentioned and our application controller is prepared for this. So and then last but not least also any XML uh, data can be integrated. Typically the question is can we integrate weather forecast information into our yeah, building automation strategies and that is also possible here. Uh, this is all, very often the question in, in Climate Echo but you have to say no not possible up to now but here we go this way as well. 
Yeah, and let me come then more or less not copy. Yeah, we are good in time. I just have a look to the integration, further integrations of other ABB solutions into ABB Cylon. And um, yeah, one topic is integration of, of variable speed drives. So our frequency converters in our ABB portfolio. And I do it very short only today. Um, we have a big range of, of frequency converters for yeah, changing the speed of drives, so for pump speed change, for fan speed change, uh, maybe for any compressors, uh, you have to operate um, so behind every yeah, variable speed drive or frequency converter is a drive, a motor, and we have to change the speed. And our ABB frequency converter all speak Modbus, RTU or Buckness MSTP. So this is our protocol we have uh, in ABB Cylon, of course, why not integrating this directly? And this is possible. And very typical components in HVAC solution from ABB are the ACH480, I think up to 22 kilowatt. And this is for higher power here, uh, ACH580. Uh, but all yeah, work on Modbus and Bugnet MSTP. And then it's, it's really integratable. So we have here also a holistic solution. And we need variable drives very often in HVAC solutions, of course. So this is one option, and the second one is our metering topic. It's, it's a bit closer to our uh, our existing building automation solutions. Remember our meters, our ABB Acumatic solution. Uh, we did uh, already a lot of, of webinars, and very soon we continue with this. Um, yeah, what does it mean? Think about our energy meters, ABB energy meters, electricity meters, also talking Modpass RTU and then can be integrated as well in the solution. Or you see here on the left, the ABB Acumatic solution, which is an additional component, the energy analyzer, collecting data from, this, from the three subsystems, Modbus, MBUS, but also KNX, and transferring the data on Modbus TCP to a superior system. And also here we were only always saying, okay, third-party solution, any building management systems can handle Modbus TCP, and now it's ABB Cylon, yeah? Also protocol, remember, um, you can have. So direct integration of meters or via the subsystem ABB Acumatic for simple local assess of data, but then also transferred um, yeah, to, to aspect, for example, based on Modbus TCP. That's also possible. Yeah, and here another, let me say, yeah, interesting meters. Yesterday I checked our range here, the great what we have here, um, so so-called flow meters, flow meters for measuring, yeah, any fluids can be also gas, can be also steam. So typically industrial applications in any production lines, but also topic of course for 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 HVAC solutions. Um, I remember, uh, for example, to measure the the thermal, let me say, consumption of a heating or cooling system. You have to measure um, the amount of water going into the system and the temperature difference between flow and return flow. Then you can calculate the, the thermal, let me say, energy transported over there. So that you might need a flow meter, for example. Yeah, again, Modbus RTU is a topic here, and then it's um, part of our complete solution. So, yeah, and then last but not least, <laughs> <laughs> KNX integration, ABB IBAS KNX. Here's some more first information for you how to do this. And this, of course, it's a big topic, not only because I'm an old KNX guy, though, uh, but also because it's, it's, it's a big part of building automation we can offer, which is also many projects a big part. And um, here are a good integration, of course, needed and possible. What does it mean? You know KNX quite well, I hope so. You know, a lot of functions, not uh, only local HVAC or room level HVAC solutions, but also lighting, shading, security functions. Um, a very strong system. And KNX is strong in the field, on the room level, with all our local or yeah, room oriented components. Silent, you have seen today a bit. Strong, especially in the automation and management level. Air handling is a topic. Yeah, VAV, variable air volume. And altogether, of course, can be a very strong complete solution. We work on KNX Twisted Pair or KNX NetIP protocol. 
8 Recidon works on the other protocols already discussed. So this covers, I think, most of the, the protocol, let me say, demands in the market and the projects. Yeah, how to connect everything with each other? One solution is, yeah, in principle, a bugnet gateway. So we have our application controller, ACS121. Yeah, as a bugnet IP gateway to KNX twisted pair. You see it here. That's a solution we have. Um, so the whole world of KNX can be connected to the whole world of bugnet IP. And we have seen in the in the system architecture, the highest level of, of um, uh, the solution is bugnet IP, the technical IP network where everything comes together. And there we can connect here. Well, this is is yeah, I think maybe not the final solution uh, as a dedicated gateway between both systems, uh, but a good already existing solution. And um, yeah, I think some of you know already the application controller. Um, it's a real bugnet gateway, bidirectional as mentioned, um, can work in uh, both directions. It's also, of course, a certified bugnet component. So all tests, BTL tests um, were yeah, um, successfully executed. As for all the other silent components as well, of course. Uh, remember, this bugnet calendar and scheduler can be integrated that we run the time functions on, on this component, but editable, also configurable only via bugnet. So a relatively simple gateway, easy to, config to configure. I have demonstrated a lot to our customers the solution practically also, how it works to connect bugnet IP with KNX, and it's really simple. It's a solution. So no big topic to do. Um, uh, yeah, 500 data points are possible here. And um, yeah, this application controller, just for your information, is not only a bugnet gateway. It's one of four main functions, um, but it's a bugnet gateway and web user interface and further automated, also automation functions are available. Um, this is on the KNX side then an additional features here, a feature here in this component. But practically you can say, okay, I use it only as a bugnet gateway, bugnet IP to KNX twisted pair. That's possible. So, and then I come to the final, let me say, highest level integration or part. Um, I try to explain it a bit, so it's still uh, also abstract for me, uh, no, no practical approach up to now for me, but I would like to mention this finally again uh, as well. Integra building control. Hmm. What does it mean? So it's an, yeah, an IoT controller. You see here the IT8000 device uh, connected to Modbus RTU and uh, Bugnet MSTP with all our components we were discussing already. Connected to the technical network. Yeah. So it's an IoT control and server platform for connecting multiple diverse devices and subsystems. Yeah, one is of course our, our AB Silon solution with the components. Um, so integrate control, supervision, data logger, alarming, scheduling, so everything you need uh, or you have in a complete building management system. Of course, you have then um, a PC or web browser necessary to, to visualize, to monitor everything, also to program everything. And the topic is here that it works, of course, also on Bugnet IP to connect our, our field level devices here. Um, but you can integrate also other protocols, which is, for example, also LON. Yeah, LON is still existing in building automation. Um, Modbus, of course, we had already, but also possible to integrate KNX Net IP on the IP level KNX. Uh, you remember application controller was only twisted pair. Um, so this is, um, yeah, something yeah, more possible, so more protocols can be integrated and um, it works yeah, on so-called Niagara framework. This is a software platform yeah, to control and to manage diverse systems and devices regardless of, 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 of manufacturers or protocols. So it's coming from the company Tridium and um, I have no personal experience with this, but it's um, yeah, also worldwide known yeah, software platform to program building automation, let's say. So if we can 
raise our solution on, on an even higher level if needed. I think it's not for every project. And I'm pretty sure there is a bit more engineering effort necessary to do so, but it's a further option here. So really on the highest level. And I have here one more slide. Yeah, you have this IT8000, uh, the hardware. Um, yeah, to connect um, all the BACnet or ABB Cylon BACnet field devices. Um, then we have um, Integra Supervisor, um, Supervisor to connect many of these components here and uh, software to, to manage everything, to, to program everything. And then as a last level here, ProPack. Um, yeah, it's um, a software solution to, to, how to say, to, to simplify the work, to automate some work in huge projects. Um, yeah, to reduce the deployment time and, and export and import of data is obviously here optimized and um, yeah, highest level to, to do your work, let's say, and to, to operate everything. Uh -huh. Only a very short hint. Um, I think if you need some more information, then you need also our experts to explain this a bit more detailed if needed. But for the first impression, for the first information, that should be enough right now. Okay, good. Then I come to the end. Wow, I'm really on time. This is a comprehensive topic today. So let's come to the summary and conclusion. What are my final, let me say, two slides to summarize everything? So let's read. Integration is a big topic. Um, AP Cylon Smart Building Solutions. Um, integrates the, all the key building solutions or systems we have, metering and HVAC and lighting and, and shading and, and security solutions, uh, workplace management, whatever. So that's our target. Yeah, so integration of everything. So it's a real extension and completion of ABB's building automation portfolio. Clear message. Yeah. Most of the things which were missing, we have now allows us and you to have access to further markets, to further projects, and also to further customers, of course. Yeah. Um, we support now the major open communication protocols, BACnet, Modbus, and KNX. We had already, but BACnet and Modbus, not that much. So holistic commercial building solution, that's our topic. Yeah. So a real value proposition we can give here. Yeah, and some already discussed uh, facts here around or benefits around our solution uh, um, connection of everything in a seamless way. So scalable and flexible AO modules with these um, Uniput technology are really nice. Uh, patent behind as mentioned. Uh, we have this powerful programming tool CX Pro aspect in the trigger integra for yeah visualization building management on top. Um, KNX to integrate to be integrated um, yeah I think in some projects now we can really say for the other functions where well, AB Silo, Silo was not that strong. They had not the right products or at all the products we can offer now KNX additionally. And of course, all the other components already mentioned uh, can be integrated here as well. Yeah, and last but not least, ABB, I know, you know, a big company worldwide present local, um, let me say, offices and, and plans or whatever, and uh, local support as possible. It also, let me see, allows us to, to increase the business here worldwide. So thank you for your participation. I hope you got an impression. What is behind ABB Cylon? Um, I really like this. It's comprehensive and um, yeah, it's, but it gives us a lot of more options and opportunities. And um, let's look forward to integrate this and to create common projects. Thank you so much. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Ciao.